SDS Aaron Cone E Day Ain't Computers.com Otro video para T Oi. Here's another video solving another computer problem. Let's cut to the chase. Verbatim, I just purchased a Nikon D7500 camera. Took some photos in RAW, which means RAW video. I use View NX dash i but when i try to upload my raw images it does not accept them i've been told that view nx i won't work so now what do i need to get to be able to work on my raw images with the d7500 the view nx i was purchased about four years ago i have automatic update and i am sure that that it has automatically updated they're using an Aki cable that I use to upload files. I've always used the same setup with my Nikon D300 with my Nikon D300 and Canon 60D. So I asked them what operating system they were using. They claimed that they were using Microcrap, Microship, Microslop, Windblows Incorporated 10. These people don't know what they're talking about, but you know, that's why I do what I do. The issue is not the Microsoft Windows 10. Oh, yes, it is. It is the View NXI program that is a Nikon program. I have been told that I need to get another View NX program, but I don't know which one to upload. I just want to be able to edit my raw images as I did with my Nikon D300 images. I now have Nikon D7500 images, and it does not work with the View NXI program. Here's a number one tip. You have to know what you're talking about. Operating systems are important. They're all different. They're not the same. You have to know what you're talking about, number one. You have to learn to know what you're talking about. You have to know the differences between Microcrap, Microship, Microslop, Windblows, Incorporated, XP, Vista 7, 8, or 10. Number two, you have to download the software for that operating system. You cannot download View NXI for Windows 7 and install it on Windows 10. There is no guarantees that it will work. I'm not going to digress about compatibility mode. You have to download the software for the specific operating system that you are using, whether it is Linux. And even within Linux, the distributions are different. Windows XP, Vista 7, 8, or 10, different download. Mac and crap, 10.11.12.13.14, Mojave, High Sierra, Sierra, El Capitan, different download. You have to know what you're talking about. I w here's the solution. I would download and install the latest version of View NX from the following link. Also, you can download any other software you need from the link. And you have, re let me reiterate, they, act, they said that the problem was not Windows 10. That's not true. The issue is not Microsoft Windows 10. Yes, it is, liar. I've concluded that a lot of these computer users I support, they're either liars or they don't know what they're talking about. I told them that I'm trying to figure or not whether or not that camera supports Windows 10. When it comes to hardware, you have to know whether or not the operating system you're using supports that hardware or not. You can't just hook up any piece of hardware to any computer with any operating system and expect it to function. That's not how it works. You should, here's a tip. Do not buy hardware until you have verified whether or not that hardware is compatible with the operating system that you're using. If you're using Windows 10, do not buy a Canon camera until you have verified whether or not Canon officially supports that operating system. If they don't support it, you're fucked. And it's not your fault. Well, it is your fault. It's not Canon's fault. They just didn't design that camera to work with Windows 10. Since the camera is new, they're just spouting off. Just forget them. For whatever it's worth, I found another application called NEF Codec. 
It may or may not be useful to you. It supports Windows 10. No, no, let me, no, 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 no. No, they're wrong. They think that they know what they're doing, but they don't. I just lecture to you. Whenever you buy hardware, you must verify whether or not it is compatible with the operating system that you want to use it with. That's always, that's always been the case. Since the camera is new and a new highly touted Nikon camera, it doesn't matter if it's brand new. It may or may not be compatible with Windows 10. Windows 10 may or may not support that device. It is reasonable to assume, no, no, it is never reasonable to assume that just because you bought something brand new that a newer ver operating system like Windows 10 will support it. No, that, no, you can't assume that. It is reasonable to assume that they would surely have software that works with a camera. No, 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 no. You need to learn. You need to get, quit being lazy. You need to verify whether or not that hardware supports. You have to verify whether or not that hardware is compatible with whatever operating system you're using. You can't assume it. You just can't assume. That's lazy. Now this clown thanked me, but this just drives me insane, man. You got these end users that think that they know what they're doing when just admit it, admit it, you don't know. Don't assume. I will wait until after the holiday to contact Nikon directly to get an answer. No, 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 I gave you the answer, you schmuck. You see why these computer users irritate me? They all, the, a high percentage of them act just like this. They're know-it-alls. They think that they know everything about information technology when it's obvious they don't know anything. So they, I gave them the answer. I, say, I told them I was going to try to find out whether or not Windows 10 supported your camera. I could not verify it. Therefore, no. I went to the website. I went to Canon directly. They did not have any software for Windows 10, the, the, the NXI. This exact software, the NXI, NXI view, view, no, 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 they didn't have it. So that tells me that they do not support Windows 10, not yet. May, they may never support it. It may be too bleeding edge, I don't know. But this clown was like, well, I'll contact Nikon to get an answer. Well, I just gave you the answer. If it's not on their website, what, is it hidden somewhere? So here's the solution. You can download NEF codec. It supports Windows 10, and I will include a direct link in this YouTube video description or a blog post. I need to write blog posts because that's another way to get traffic to my website. That's another way to earn income. But I will include it even, either in a blog post or in this YouTube video description. Look, man, I just, I deal with these computer clowns, these computer, they're just, a high percentage of them have the same mentality. They just assume. No, that's my number one tip of this video. Obviously, the software that may work with that, your camera. It may work with other Canon cameras. There is, and especially with cameras, DSLR, any kind of even video cameras, camcorders, don't assume that since just because it's brand new, do not assume that that camera is compatible with Windows 10 and you can just plug in via HDMI or USB and bam, within seconds, you're going to be transferring photos or video to your computer. No, never assume, verify. That's my number one goal tip in this video. Do not assume, verify. All they had to do is when they went to buy that camera, whether at a store or on the internet, here's another tip. Before you go to a store to buy a camera or before you order it online, 
look it up. Go to the, just perform some internet searches. Canon, here's a search that you could perform. Nikon D7500 and then Windows 10. I don't know why I refer to Canon. <laughs> I don't know. Anyways. Oh, because Canon creates Nikon. Or Canon. I think Canon bought out Nikon. You know what? I'm going to freestyle. Canon. Ah. Let me see real quick. So that's, that's my number one goal tip. And I'm giving you another tip. Before you even buy, well, it says Canon versus Nikon. No, they didn't purchase Nikon. But where, where, it, where did I include? Oh, you know what confused me? Is this website uses a fucking dumb shit robot. It uses AI, artificial intelligence. It's the dumbest. It's just terrible. This website is garbage, but I don't control it. I, I don't, I'm just a surf. I'm just a bitch. I'm just a computer bitch boy for the world order. They're not going to give a rat's ass about my criticisms of their website. They, they're, it's very lazy. It's very sloppy. I hate a lot of these corporations where you cannot contact a human. It's a, a lot of these websites are so stingy and cheap that they use artificial intelligence robots, which that's nothing new. Robots have been around for decades. But especially, so when a customer submits a request on this website, this third-party website where I earn supplemental income answering computer questions, they just fill out a form, but they think they're talking to a real human. They think they're talking to a real human via chat. No, it's a dumb shit bot. This bot then, then assumed that it was Canon, that they were trying to find the Canon EOS utility. A lot of, when it comes to camcorders and DSLR cameras and digital cameras now, I don't, I shy away, but I don't want to digress because, I, because of the same problem. You, yeah, you assume that you have a brand new Canon or Nikon or whoever camera and that it's brand new so it must work with Windows 10. Uh-uh. Or it must work with Mac. Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. You're dealing with a, a different beast. Technically, digital cameras, DSLR and camcorders, they were never designed to communicate with computers. They're, they're really not designed for that. A digital camera is designed to take digital photographs. A DSLR is designed to take high quality photographs and video. A camcorder is designed to take video. You're lucky that they can even communicate with the computer so that you can download, but you're not, no, you're, you know, but not necessarily. No, -uh. because, well, I understand everything is digital now, but it's not, you know what I'm saying? But then the raw, and then don't assume that you can always raw is raw. I prefer raw video. And I know what they're talking about. I have a prosumer camcorder, and it's got a big lens, and it raw is the best. If you can get raw and upload it to YouTube, that's the best quality. But YouTube's YouTube's their codecs suck. But I don't want to digress. I understand now you're dealing with digital data and but d don't assume don't assume and it it the, the cameras are lucky that they even have enough room for like a HDMI out or a USB I mean yes for decades now a lot of cameras have been able to you can connect it to a computer back in the day it was just basically USB you could just transfer photos but transferring video very difficult until what firewire but even FireWire wasn't perfect. And anyways, I don't want to digress. I don't want to digress. 
So my goal tip is do not assume. A second tip, when you buy, it doesn't matter what it is, a printer, a scanner, any peripheral, any peripheral, don't assume that it's going to work with a bleeding edge operating system. Don't assume that. And just because it's brand new, don't assume that. Before you make a purchase, go out and verify what operating systems does that device work with? What is it compatible with? So what you could do is you could t perform an internet search for D7500 camera and then Windows 10. Or you could go d directly to the Nikon website and look, look, read all of the hardware specifications. It will tell you, it should tell you what operating systems are supported, what operating systems are c compatible. How do I connect the camera? Do I, can I transfer video or not? Can I just transfer photos via USB? And, and then another thing you must remember that these cameras now have micro SD or even the camcorders have a optical drive built in so you could so really, even nowadays, they're not always necessarily designed to connect to a computer because with micro SD, you would just, or even an SD card, but the micro SD, you would just insert the micro SD into the camera DSLR, camcorder, or a photo camera, or a HD camera, a digital camera, and then you would transfer the video file or the photos that way. And then you take the card out and then you insert it into your computer. But being able to just connect a camera via USB or HDMI out to a, to a computer and call it a day, no, and it can turn into a nightmare. It can just, so I don't even like to support these types of problems anymore because I noticed it can, it can be a crapshoot. Here, I'll just be honest. What I do before I even and even communicate with a, these individuals, I study it first. It may take me five minutes. It may take me ten minutes. I will go out and I will try to verify whether or not the camera works with the operating system, or or I will tr I will try to verify the hardware. Well, does it have HDMI out? Does it have USB? How how does the camera transfer data. How can you get data off of the camera? If it, if I don't think I can help them out, I move along. I move along. I don't waste time. I'm nope. All right. So then you would just you know verify D7500 camera. What and then go to their the Nikon website. Try to find the specifications. Is it HDMI out? Is it USB? What operating system does it support? Does it support Macintosh? And then, and then sometimes it will support those operating systems, but you have to do this. You, you can't, and then don't assume that your favorite software is going to be compatible. That's another problem. The software developers, whoever wrote the NXI software, they have to code it so that it will work with Windows 10. And that could, that could be a problem, or they might not want to, or it could be supply and demand. I mean, there's just... There's so many variables that I don't understand why anybody in their right mind would just assume that, oh, well, my Nikon 7500, oh, it's brand new, and oh, it'll work with Windows 10. Well, they submitted a report, and I received compensation. So... They didn't respond back and tell me that the software worked or not, the one that I found. But that's most likely what it was. That the NEF codec, I found a different application called NEF codec. And that, yeah, and, and I verified that that will work with a Nikon 7500. You have to verify that. You have to make sure that the software, if it's a third party, or you just have to verify. First, you have to make sure that the software will work with the hardware that you have, which is a Nikon 7500. Then you have to verify, well, will, can I install it on Windows 10? And I found it. <sighs> and But then even then, 
you don't really know, especially with Windows 10, especially with bleeding edge operating systems. Windows 10, oh, even, even if they support it, even if it's compatible, oh man, a Windows 10 update could fuck it up. So buyer beware. Adios.